Hey, I'm Cameron McKenzie. I'm the editor-in-chief at the serverside.com and I wanted to quickly talk to you about the differences between columns and rows. Now, the key difference between a column and a row is that a row will align data horizontally from left to right, while a column will stack data from top to bottom vertically. You can see on the left hand side I've got an Excel spreadsheet and I've got the first row highlighted in red and then you can see on the right hand side there I've got an Excel spreadsheet and I've highlighted three columns. And so that gives you a visual representation of the difference between columns and rows. Now you can get a little bit more technical. Items in a row are aligned from left to right while columns are aligned top to bottom. A row is a horizontal alignment of data. A column is vertical. Data in a row usually contains information that describes a single entity. So the data is usually related maybe to a person. So data in a row might be their first name, last name, email address, could be information about a house or an address, you know, the, the street, the postal code, the city. So a row usually describes an entity while data in a column usually describes a field of information that all entities possess. So every entity is going to have an email address that's going to be represented in a column. Items in a row are positioned side to side while in a column they are above and below. And here's even an example that gets us a little bit outside of the database spreadsheets types of technical examples. Uh, objects placed in a row will typically face forward while objects said to be in a column are aligned head to tail. And I've got an image here of a tank column right? The tanks are all following each other head to tail. Uh, so sometimes the word column is used like that. Whereas if you think of hockey players, you know, they're all uh, on the bench looking the same way. We would call that a row. So there's just some non-technical examples of rows and columns. So again, uh, examples of rows. Seats in a theater, they're organized in rows. Ducklings are said to, to follow their mother in a row. A library will have a row of books. I mentioned before, hockey players on the bench will be said to be lined up in a row. And even a, a bunch of houses facing the street are said to be in a row. A row of houses line the street. Now let's get some non-technical examples of columns. Well, you've probably heard the term newspaper column. When they put the text uh, all lined up from top to bottom and maybe a couple of columns on the page, certainly you've seen Greek architecture with the Doric and Corinthian columns. I mentioned a, a column of tanks. An elevator shaft is a column of vertical movement. Flames from a chimney are said to be a column of smoke. So those are some non-technical concepts that you can apply to columns and rows. Now, usually in the world of computer science or software development or data analytics, when we talk about rows and columns, we usually put them into a table, a table of rows and columns. And uh, the row of data, as I mentioned, from left to right represents an entity. Uh, from top to bottom, those are fields. Um, and uh, quite often in spreadsheets, you know, we will aggregate data. So, um, you know, here we've got income and expenses and on the right hand side of a given day we calculate the profit based on the, the information in that row and then if we want the total profit over time we calculate up the column and so that's a very common way of using rows and columns together in a table to form a spreadsheet databases are, are similar a database would be a more complex assortment of columns and rows but databases uses precisely the exact same concept as a spreadsheet and also you know rows and columns they're used to develop web pages right bootstrap is a, a way of creating a 12 column grid of responsive design I uh, hear you even see a little web page where yeah they've got a, a table here and you can see a couple of rows and a couple of columns and the columns they've got item number item picture item description and price and then in a row from left to right well in one case they describe a gig of ram and another row they describe an ibm clone of a computer you know even another example of a, a nice table is the periodic table of elements right there's similarities 
are four elements that are in the same column and there are similarities between elements in the same row. So the periodic table is a great example of rows and columns being used to express data. And there you go. Those are the key differences between columns and rows. Now, if you enjoyed this tutorial, why don't you head over to the serverside.com. We've got lots of great tutorials on DevOps tools, Java, databases, enterprise software development, you name it. If you're interested in my personal antics, you can always follow me on Twitter at Cameron MCNZ. And please, uh, why don't you subscribe on, on YouTube? 